two, time to make the donuts. Food critic Brian Friedman is used to reviewing Philadelphia's finest restaurants. Well, now he's turned his attention to fried dough. He joins us to discuss his picks for the top three, not just any Dunkin', not just any donut shops, but Dunkin' Donuts in the Philadelphia region. And Brian, um, at last count, there were 8,007 Dunkin' Donuts within the city limits of Philadelphia. 8,008, and... actually. Okay, George. all right, good. Yes. And how many did you go to? I went to most of them. Wow. Um, no, actually, I went to a little more than a dozen of them. Uh -huh. George, I have to tell you, people take their Dunkin' Donuts incredibly seriously in this town, like we do all of our food, to the point where I actually had some folks coming up to me as I was uh, about to embark on my odyssey, and they were concerned that a guy my size would not be able to survive this ordeal. But I have to tell you, when it comes to Dunkin' Donuts, there is a 300-pound donut fiend inside of all of us. Uh -huh. So you too can do it. So um, wh what's your take on everything? I mean, you've got to weigh in uh, ambiance. You've got to weigh in who's got the best coffee. Right. What are the criteria? Right. I would say the coffee is the number one most important factor. Uh, I was speaking to the manager at the two Penn Center Dunkin' Donuts yesterday. He was telling me that on a busy weekday morning, they can serve over 150 customers coffee in one hour. So that's fresh coffee. That's fresh coffee. Yeah. I think he said that's like one, two and a half customers every minute. I don't know what the half is, but I'll believe him. I don't want to give it away too soon, but let's go ahead and put the map up because you okay. have uh, you've made a selection for the best Dunkin' Donuts in the city of Philadelphia. Absolutely. Another contentious selection, I think. All right. Um, so I would say that number three, Suburban Station. This is where people from all over the Philadelphia region come in every morning. I mean, it's just a madhouse in there. And what amazes me most is that the staff at that Dunkin' Donuts keeps it moving. I mean, they don't let you stop. Also, though there is sort of a universal appeal to Dunkin' Donuts, the coffee there is just a bit stronger. It'll get you through that work day behind the desk. Number two is King of Prussia out there. But why is 16th and Sansom number one? Is it the coffee? Is it the ambiance? Is it everything? It's a little bit of everything. It's a great crowd they have at 16th and Sansom. Everybody is very friendly. People seem to know each other. Philadelphia, after all, is a city of neighborhoods. So if you're there, you're reading your inquiry, your daily news, people really who work there, they'll let you relax. They won't bother you. They'll let you read your paper, get your coffee and donuts. But if you want, you can also build relationships with everyone that works there. Well, George, Brian, thank you George, very much. George, yet again, you're eating without me. <laughs> I don't like this trend. Hey, Jen, we're going to eat. You take it from here. All right. <laughs> donuts to something a little bit more serious.